As the metal music rages on, Walter Frobrick's friends remain angry over what they say was a preventable death. We're devastated. Uh, he was our brother, you know, he was our best friend. And uh, he was absolutely, he fell through the cracks. He, he couldn't advocate for himself and, and the poor guy was sent home to die. Frobrick's friends say the metalhead had lost a lot of weight and had been complaining about pain in his abdominal area. And despite going to St. Joseph's Hospital three times over a period of about 10 days and only getting prescribed antibiotics, he eventually died in his apartment, according to friends. The hospital dropped the ball with him. They could have done more um, or step up and really, you know, delve into what exactly his issues were, but they just chose to send him home. And that we all know that is true because he went home and he passed away. A rally was held outside St. Joseph's Hospital Saturday. The message was clear. They wanted justice for Walter. It's a crushing blow to have a friend die from something that could be completely preventable. Uh, he was just ignored in the hospital because he was just too nice to say anything. He didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings ever. He's the nicest guy I've ever known in my life. The protest was also a chance for his loved ones to share their stories. If Walter loved one thing, it was metal music and the community that comes with it. Walter is, you know, the, the, the mayor of metal. Um, there's nobody as well known as, as Walter. He considered all the metal and punk community and music scene of Toronto to be his family. And we're here for him because he needs a voice. But for his friends, it's not just about remembering him. They want to raise awareness for what they believe is a healthcare system failing vulnerable people. He was just a working man. Um, if anybody else of any sort of stature would never have been sent home. This is not just about Walter. This is about the, the crumbling healthcare system in our province. Walter is just one of the people that have been that lost his lives here. Global News contacted St. Joseph's Hospital, which said they cannot comment on a specific health case and encouraged Frobrick's next of kin to contact the hospital instead. Amar Khan, Global News.